Connor Peterson, um, and I am a first year PhD scholar in the Department of Sociology here at Cambridge. And I will join in the chorus of other first year PhD scholars saying that today will be mostly about my questions um, and perhaps an invitation to share, uh, to hear from you about further lines of inquiry that would be worth exploring. So, as the label says, um, I am interested in exploring how Jewish and Latter-day Saint or Mormon communities in the United States have responded to Christian nationalism, um, particularly in the context of the 2024 presidential election. So, um, a bit of context. I think um, in the post-secularization hypothesis world, it is uncontroversial to say that religious nationalism is on the rise all over the globe. In the United States, um, in particular, there has been growing public and academic interest um, in the role that Christian nationalism has to play in our, in our politics. Um, I think probably most recently and most importantly, <coughs> Um, the role that Christian nationalism played in the January 6th riots um, and in the general sort of shift to the right. Um, so as you can see here, a 2022 Pew report um, shows that 45% of Americans think that America should be a Christian nation. Now there are a lot of shades of what exactly that means, but for our purposes, we'll just go ahead and say that it's the idea that America was, maybe is, and definitely should be um, true to Christian values and or culture. So you'll see 45% of Americans is a bit higher um, than the 25% of Americans that identify as evangelical Christians, where the ideological base for American Christian nationalism really comes from. And so that raises an interesting question, um, which is sort of where is this other 20% showing up from? Um, numerous studies have been done showing that other religious groups have, over the past 16 years, um, becoming more involved um, in Christian nationalism, including Catholics, Jews, and Latter-day Saints. <coughs> this study is a comparative study looking at two of those groups, Latter-day Saints and Jews. Um, so a 2023 PRI report basically points out that depending on how you want to define identifying with Christian nationalism, 5 to 33% of Latter-day Saints, and 2 to 7% of Jews um, identify themselves as Christian nationalists. And this is particularly interesting because in some but not all cases, this is actually directly against the wishes of religious leadership. Here I've given two examples. Um, that is Dallin H. Oaks, who's a member of the Quorum of the Twelve, um, senior leadership, um, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints um, at an address after the January 6 riots, and the Satmar Rebbe, um, who came out with a very uncharacteristically um, political statement, sort of really decrying the rise of Trumpism in the Satmar Hasidic community. So, the questions that I am bringing to the table um, are primarily how is it that Christian nationalist politics and culture are translated and adopted by these non-evangelical faith groups? Um, so I'm interested in looking at the exact mechanisms. Um, in addition, I'm going to have to come forward for a moment. Um, what, do, what role do religious authorities play or not play um, in this shift? And finally, um, I am curious about whether or not these processes, once we identify them, are really different in any meaningful way from other processes of assimilation that we've seen again and again. Um, so I said I was going to bring you my questions. I want to quickly justify why I think they're good questions to ask beyond sort of the political interest level. Um, we'll start off briefly. I think I'll just read it here. It's a bit easier for me. Um, Religious, religion and nationalism were once thought to be polar opposites, nationalism being this sort of secularized idea and religion being separate from that. Um, and there's not been a lot of work to really bridge the two. Um, in addition, um, research on religious nationalism in the states has primarily focused on Christian uh, or evangelical approaches uh, to Christian nationalism. Um, and I think because it's such a politicized 
ideology and movement, um, the tenor of a lot of the discourse around Christian nationalism is incredibly adversarial or inflammatory, and that can sometimes obscure the interesting processes that underlie it. Because essentially we're looking at faith groups that have um, managed to bridge very, very difficult ideological divides. Um, the how, I'll quickly, I'll briefly say, I plan on doing even um, ethnographic field work um, in New York and also in Utah and Idaho in the context of the 2024 presidential election. Um, and the contribution, I think, we more or less covered, but I hope to widen the discussion in both academic circles and also on public policy. And if you have any questions or thoughts, I welcome them. Thank you.